adding clindamycin or a probiotic to oral metronidazole failed to improve the effectiveness of the drug against bacterial vaginosis. At a Congress of the International Society for Sexually Transmitted Disease Research in Quebec City, Canada, Dr. Katriana Bradshaw discussed her randomized trial. BV is a really common condition, in fact it's the most common cause of vaginal infections in women worldwide and it's associated with important um, adverse pregnancy outcomes and increased risk of sexually transmitted infections. But current treatments are not highly effective and up to 50 to 60 percent of women get their BV back um, within 6 to 12 months of being treated with first line recommended therapies. So. In clinic, as a clinician, you see a lot of women with recurrent infection who are fairly desperate to get rid of their, their BV and you're fairly keen to, to get rid of it as well. And, um, and so sometimes a combination of the first line therapies, oral metronidazole and vaginal, vaginal clindamycin is used. But there's been no evidence base to support this practice. So we conducted a randomised trial to combine oral metronidazole with vaginal clindamycin. We also evaluated a probiotic at the same time and we had a placebo arm just to see if a combination of therapies was going to be more effective and reduce these high uh, longer term recurrence rates. What were some of your key findings? Well, the main finding was that combining uh, the two first-line regimens, so combining vaginal therapy with oral metronidazole, did not improve or reduce the recurrence rates from oral metronidazole alone. Um, and adding a, a vaginal probiotic didn't improve the recurrence rates either. So it tells us really that combination therapy is not the way to go. Um, in terms of trying to, to reduce relapse for women. What are the clinical implications for doctors? Well, I guess the clinical implications at the moment are firstly that monotherapy is still first line therapy and we haven't improved on that. Um, the other implications really are that we're doing a, a behavioural analysis at the moment and looking at epidemiological risk factors, so behavioural characteristics that might be driving recurrence. We don't um, understand the cause of BV. There are many teams internationally working on this. Um, but there is a sense that there may be behavioural practices that may be implicated in reinfection and some of our preliminary work um, indicated that uh, hormonal contraceptive use was potentially protective against recurrence and that's been supported by some observational studies and um, also that um, sex with the same partner may increase your risk of recurrence. Now all that data requires confirmation but um, I guess the implications for clinicians are to keep an open mind about BV, um, to keep a keen eye on the literature to look for improved therapies and um, to be honest with your patients about the potential risks of recurrence with current therapies because I think many women are quite disappointed when their BB's, BB is back again. For Global Medical News Network, I'm Heidi Spleet.